What's up guys and welcome to Pitch Black Thailand. It is a Sunday evening over here. I'm about to go to bed, but I wanted to put this video together for you to show you what to expect from the market this week because we have had a typical weekend of sideways price action, but we had some pretty big drama on Friday when we closed after a big drop on Bitcoin and everybody is wondering now when the market opens, are we going to head up to recover some of that drop or or is there further downside to come? So I'm gonna dive deep into the charts with you, give you a bit of idea of like what I'm looking for and where I will make some moves in the market this week. And also a news event that we really need to be aware of before we take any action. So let's head over to the charts. And as normal being Sunday, I'm gonna start on the higher time frame so that we can get a big picture view of what is going on. So I'm gonna zoom out here to the daily. And if you happen to catch my last video, we're actually is still following what I showed you in the last video even a week later. So this is the daily time frame. We've had our three level rise, you know, ever since we were down at 15,600 and we're in this consolidation period where we are experiencing the three level drop, but the three level drop is moving sideways. I've spoken about this before, so I won't go on too much about it again. And we are really just waiting to see in this accumulation range that we have expected around the halving, we're waiting to see where the bottom of the range is actually put in. So there's a couple of things I want to show you here. As you can see here, we had the move to the top here that basically set the high at around 73,800, I think that is, 73, yeah, around that. And ever since then, we've had a drop through here, which was our level one drop, and we had level two drop through here, a retracement back to the 50 EMA. This was the area in last week's video I told you to watch for, to see if we can't break above the halfway mark, then we would expect that level three drop. And this right here that you're looking at could be this part of the model playing out where we are potentially in the level three drop right now. Now, there's two things that can happen, and this is what I want to talk to you about, and they're based on the four hour time frame. But before I go there, I want to show you high block capital over here, which marks all of the liquidation levels and it gives us a lot of really interesting data. As the week opens, we really care about this data because it shows you where the lowest hanging fruit is. That's what I always call it. It's where the most leverage is in the market that is built up over the weekend. And we're using this particular liquidation level chart because these spikes out here to the side, the largest ones are showing us where the largest liquidity is. And we can currently see that the blue in comparison to the pink is much higher, meaning if price were to move to the upside, more leverage is going to get wiped out than if price were to move to the downside. Now, when you combine that with the fact that we're in false move week beginning, it makes sense that we may get a bit of a false move up before we head down. Usually if the market maker wants to drop price, they're going to go up first. If they want price to rise, they're going to go down first. And so this helps us to sort of get an idea of where that might happen, which by the way, if you want access to high block capital, I will leave a link in the description of this video because there are so many other tools that you can explore in addition to this one. And it's a really, really good piece of software to use. So when we have a look at these liquidation levels, we can see here that the closest, we highest amount is at around 61,960. And then we go up from there. But when I take that price back to my chart, that falls around here. So I've actually marked out the two levels on this chart. And you can see that both of them fall under the daily time frame 50 EMA. So we could, yeah, we could come up to take out any of those levels really, and then potentially continue to the downside. And if we did continue to the downside, then first of all, we're looking for where price went before. So we're looking at around the 56 kind of K region, but I'm gonna show you something that might be telling us that we're not actually gonna drop that low. If we happen to break that low and go for the full level three to the downside, we still have this area of liquidity, which we also got from the high block heat maps. And that area of liquidity is quite a large range sitting between 49,100 to 56,500. Now, again, we don't have to take it all out just because it's there, but it is an area of interest if we do break the current low because of the vector candle that we have here that lies in the middle of it and it will also line up with the daily time frame 200 EMA. So I am not ruling out more downside to come sometime this week. However, I will show you what will change my mind about that. And that is on the four hour time frame. Again, if you happen to catch my video 
show last week, we talked about the four hour time frame giving us the possible hint before any other time frame that that daily time frame level three won't happen. Okay, so this is what we're watching for. And so far this week has played out exactly as I spoke about on that last video, which was at the time we had pushed out and we had broken this trend line here. And what I was waiting for was a retest back in to create a second side of a W on the four hour time frame. And my area of interest, which was marked on last Sunday's show, was this vector candle right here. And if you happen to know about vector candles, we care about the top, the middle and the bottom of them. So this yellow line here is the middle of that vector at 60,590. And we can see this is where we have currently consolidated. So we could potentially be in the phase of the four hour second side W forming. And if price either breaks out at the start of the week here, we would assume that it's in, or if it heads further down, as long as it doesn't break below 58,900, we would assume that it is just recovering this vector candle and it is completing the second side of the W. If we start to get bullish confirmations anywhere between where price is now to that 58,900, that's our hint that, okay, this is the second side W, we're only getting two drops on the daily time frame. we're going back up from here. Now, let me show you, now that you know all of that, let's talk about the one hour time frame because the one hour time frame is really, really interesting when we start to count our rises and drops. We can see during the week, if we look at the last week that we've just had, we can see here that we have had our one hour time frame drop through here. This is our retrace and this is our level two drop. So if we're expecting three drops, there is a high chance that level three drop is still to come because we've had one retracement, we've had two, we have not yet had three. However, that also, when you combine that with the fact that we're moving into false week move beginning, if we're going to complete the third drop to the downside, there is a chance if the market maker needs to build uh, positions before they make that big move, there's a chance we'll go up before down. Now let's talk about levels if that does happen. We have a high level of buy orders sitting in trading light, which I'll show you right here. Here we have a couple of levels. So we have 60,000 is fairly decent, but we have even more sitting at 59,000. So there are still people that want price to drop further to be buying at around the 59,000 mark. We don't have a high level of shorts above price currently, but that might come in as the market opens. So when we have a look at that, that 59 high level order is right right here. Now this area of interest that I've marked, it's on the 15 minute time frame. It's a vector candle right there, but you can also see here that it's a breakout and a retest of this level. And that is going to mean that if price does come down to that 59K, then it's going to rebalance this fast move. And this is what I wanted to talk about. I think a lot of people are expecting because this candle dropped on Friday, it's a fast move down. It's a big, fast red candle that that means we're definitely going to recover it when the market opens because fast move move down, fast move up, then you go into consolidation. However, the problem that we have with this price action and why you need to be very careful this week is even though this is a fast move that needs to be recovered, we also have this fast move that needs to be recovered. So we have a fast move on both sides of the current price. So if we were to head up first before down, we would recover this. If we went the other way where we came down first, then up, we would recover this. And that's what makes price very, very tricky this week. On top of that, we also have a news event this week. We have core CPI on Wednesday. It is possible we've got nothing on Monday. We've got core PPI on Tuesday. It is possible that we don't have a lot of price action to open the week. And somewhere around these news events is where we see the fast move. Hopefully by then, because more time will have passed, we'll have more structure. The fast move will be a little bit more obvious. But my caution to you is, whilst the price is going sideways and the move is really, really unclear, it's not gonna hurt to sit out until it becomes very obvious what is happening. And the way it's gonna be obvious is if we get a very clear false move. So see this wick right here on this candle? That's gonna tell you who the market maker is trapping. So if you get something like this, as the market opens in a few hours time and a fast move to the upside, the market maker is trapping longs before they shoot price 
down. And that's where we would then expect the 59K target. If it goes the other way and they give that fast move to the downside that ends in a week, maybe down to the 60,400 would create a kind of a W type of formation with a long consolidation in between, or 60,120 might create a second side W. But if you got a fast move like that with a week to the downside, then that would mean that they're coming up to recover this one first. So it's very, very tricky and you cannot call, I don't care what anyone on the internet says, you cannot call it right now with the current price action until you get a clear indication of who the market maker is trapping. Now guys, if you have not joined the Bitchinix trading competition, the competition is technically closed publicly, but we can still get you in. If you want to be part of it, there are still 10 days left. You have some Solana up for grabs and we are doing the trade alerts inside of the Discord. Here's what you need to do. First of all, get yourself a Bitchinix account. You need to use the link in the description of this video. That link also gets you 25% trading fee discount for life. Once you've used that link, you'll also see the link to our Discord in the description of this video. Head there, click on that, and you'll see the instructions to verify your UID for Bitchinix. Once you've verified it, you'll then see further instructions on how to join the competition. So come join that with us. It's been a whole lot of fun. And if you're considering joining TTC to learn the entire method in full, there is also a link down below for our memberships that give you access to the full Discord, all of our courses, and our live sessions that happen multiple times daily. These were some of the trades that we covered this week in the Discord. We are basically have not lost any trades yet, not to say that we won't, but at this point in time, we have not. We are doing really, really well. So if you want to be part of that, you are more than welcome. So remember this week, patience is going to be key. If we have to wait till CPI before there's an actual trade, then that's what we have to do. If the market is not clear and that false move week beginning is not absolutely clear, we're going to be better off waiting until we have a clearer but I will be back when there is something clearer to show you.